How to set an Ergo One micropipette, take seven. This video demonstrates how to set volumes to be dispensed on Ergo One micropipettes. But before setting the volume, it's important to choose the correct pipette. A general rule of thumb with micropipettes is they dispense most accurately between their maximum volume, volume and about 10% of their maximum volume. So if used properly, this 2.5 microliter micropipette, the red, red button, should accurately dispense between 0.25 and 2.5 microliters. And this 20 microliter micropipette should most accurately, accurately dispense between 2 and 20 microliters. And this 200 microliter micropipette should dispense most accurately between 20 and 200 microliters. And this 1,000 microliter micropipette with a blue button should dispense most accurately between 100 and 1,000 microliters. And in cases where two different micropipettes could be used to dispense the same volume, for instance, 150 microliters could be dispensed by either of these two pipettes, the 200 or the 1,000. I would choose the 200 because uh, it is going to be more accurate. It's going to it's in the center of its range rather than at the margins of it of its range where the um, with the with the 1000 microliter micropipette. So let's take a look at the digital displays of these micropipettes. Um, this is the the 2.5 microliter micropipette with a red button. It's meant to use these um, small little clear tips. Put one on there right now. You can see that's the tip that's used. And the display has four digits on it. Let's take a look at the digits. So the top digit, whoop, top digit is the ones place, and there's a line between the ones place and the three lower places, and that's meant to distinguish between whole microliters and fractional microliters. So this is the ones place, the tenths place, the hundredths place and the and the thousandths place. And this here with the yellow button is the P20, 20 microliter micropipette. It's meant to use these yellow tips. I don't really see that they're yellow, but they're usually yellow. Again, it has four digits. In the, in the display, top digit is tens, next digit is ones, tenths, and hundredths. And you can see there's a line between the ones and the tenths, again, to, to distinguish between whole and partial microliters, fractional microliters. This here is the P200, the 200 microliter micropipette. It also uses the same yellow tips as the 20 microliter micropipette. And the digits on the display, again, there are four. The top one is hundreds, one beneath that is tens, one beneath that is ones, and then the one beneath the line is tenths. And this here is a thousand microliter micropipette. It uses these blue micropipette tips. Sometimes these are clear as well. It depends on which batch we got. It has four digits on its display as well. From the top, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. There are no fractional microliters on this micropipette. So in the case of this 2.5 microliter micropipette, you can see that, that when I set it to 195, that means it's going to dispense 1.95 microliter if used properly. And with the 20 microliter micropipette, when I set with the same digits, 195, this is going to dispense 19.5 microliters. And with the 200 microliter micropipette, when I set it to 195, 
it's going to dispense 195 microliters. And with the 1,000 microliter micropipette, when I set it to 0, 0,195, it's also going to dispense 195 microliters. You can't set, you shouldn't set the 1,000s to 1,950. That would be trying to set it to 1.95 ml or 1950 microliters which is well beyond the 1000 microliter max volume on this micropipette. So now that we've seen the the digital displays let's learn how to set these micropipettes and it's very easy they all are the same in this regard. Um, I'm going to um, set one of the pipettes I'll set the 200 microliter micropipette to 150 microliters. So the first, right now, it is set to dispense 195. And it's locked in there. And you know it's locked in there because when I turn this, the digits don't change. So how do we unlock it? This is a nice feature, actually, because um, when you're pipetting, you, you could imagine you might twist the button a little bit. And when you do it, you would be changing the volume. So some pipettes, when you, when you do that, the volume will actually change, but not these nice ergo ones. So what we first do to unlock the volume setting is just pull up gently on this button until it snaps. Okay, don't tear, the, tear it off, just do it gently and then we're going to turn it, if we want to decrease the volume, we're going to turn it clockwise and if we want to increase the volume, we would turn it counterclockwise. So I'm going to turn it clockwise until the display reads 150. There we go. Perfect. And then what you do is lock it in by just pressing down on that button. And now it's set to deliver 150 microliters. And you can see it's locked. The volume is not changing. It's very simple. They all work the same way. So um, that concludes this video. I hope it's been useful to you and I hope all your pipetting is accurate.